It was hard to believe that we were towards the end of October. Mm -hmm. I was in a tank top yesterday. Because it was an 82 degrees. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's crazy to think. Again, we're, we're kind of closing out the month. We started the month with record heat. We got to within four degrees of the record yesterday, so we at least scared it mm -hmm. uh, in the Halloween uh, spirits this morning. We're looking at a cooler start, though, so that's nice. We're looking at a more refreshing uh, start to our day by about 21 degrees in Greenwood, just nine degrees cooler in Greenville, but still everyone kind of returning to that fall feel that we have kind of grown accustomed to be uh, feeling in the last couple weeks. This morning, driving into work or school, it's going to be in the 50s. The sky mainly clear. No fog to deal with in the upstate. We've got a nice and cooler start to the day. Completely clear on satellite and radar, though we are still watching dense fog from Asheville West toward Bryson City, Franklin, Cullowee, Silva, Waynesville. But you can see all of the upstate northeast Georgia is fog free. But just in neighboring states as well, up toward Knoxville, Atlanta, and then the low country toward Charleston, a lot of dense fog kind of surrounding us this morning, so regional travel could be a slight headache if you're leaving now. Of course, we'll see improving conditions throughout the morning, and we're left with a really nice day today. Temperatures should reach the 70s yet again, very close to 80 in a few spots out toward Elberton and maybe the southern upstate. We'll have a mostly sunny sky out there, so with that in mind, your Carolina Sky Meter rating today, it is dialed up to a perfect 10. Tomorrow, not looking too bad, but we'll start to see some rain creep in, and, and especially by Wednesday and Thursday, which means if you're trying to do some haunted housing, if you're waiting to the last minute, today is your day to do it. Looking at gorgeous weather this evening, sunset, I uh, believe around 640 ish uh, temperatures uh, again uh, at 6 p.m. 73 degrees falling slowly into the upper 60s by 8 o'clock. Let's start tomorrow morning because today we're dry. We'll have a few showers in the morning in the foothills. I don't think major rain happens in the morning and really throughout the day for the bulk of Tuesday. Generally dry conditions will be seen. Now we'll see a lot of cloud cover, so not a lot of sunshine tomorrow. And we'll start to see a few showers in the southern upstate tomorrow afternoon. They become a little more likely as we get into the sunset time frame around 7 p.m. or just before. Rain a pretty good possibility south of 85. Then, of course, as you might imagine, that's going to spread right into the rest of our area for the rest of the night Tuesday into Wednesday. <coughs> and into Thursday. So several chances for rain starting tomorrow and lasting through Thursday. We end the week and start a new month on a dry note. Scattered showers, a pretty good possibility. This is Wednesday afternoon. We keep those rain chances at times throughout Wednesday night into Thursday morning. We could start dry with just a few showers around on Halloween, but throughout the day, rain chances and thunderstorm chances will be building some stronger storms possible Thursday afternoon and into Thursday night. So we'll be warm and humid the entire day for Halloween scattered daytime showers, but late day severe weather not out of the question at this point. It doesn't look like a major, major threat, but it is something that we will have to watch very closely as we get into Halloween night. That leaves us with a gorgeous and beautiful Friday, Saturday, Sunday looking fantastic as well. Don't forget the time change happening set those clocks back an hour Saturday night and into Sunday morning.